now let's move on to the hands on on to the topic constructor let's try to understand the definition of constructor constructor is a special type of member function of a class having name similar to a class name what this mean is i need to create a constructor with the same name as that of my class name in order to create constructor in c sharp it provide a shortcut ctor and tab which creates the skeleton for the constructor so constructor name will be same as your class name that is the point number 1 for constructor second point is it cannot return the it cannot have the return type not even void is allowed so no return type can be written here not even void is allowed because constructor doesn't return anything it is used to initialize the member data what is the purpose of this constructor to initialize this member data employee id and employee name in this case so employee id i am setting it to some default value employee name i am setting it to some default value so that is what the purpose of this constructor it's get called automatically whenever the object of that class gets created so this is my class employee with some variables with some functions and a constructor now within main i create the object of the employee class emp is equal to new employee i can create the object in this way also object declaration separate and object instantiation separate this is called as object declaration and this is called as object instantiation now whenever i'll create the object of this class the constructor will get called automatically and the value will be set to the default values and what is the default value i have set employee id 0 and employee name k so if i run this program by removing the same employee function it should print the default value for the employee id 0 and employee name k let's try because constructor will get called whenever the object is gets created let's run it and see the output that employee id is 0 and the name is a now whenever we create the object of that class constructor gets called that is what the definition of the constructor but there are two different aspects in declaration of the object one is object declaration and one is object instantiation so where out of these two lines the constructor will get called if i write it separately like this so your constructor will get called here so if i have a object declaration separate and object instantiation separate the constructor gets called at the instantiation level because the memory allocation part is done at the time of instantiation so that is why this could be one of the interview question that you might face in a near future when the constructor gets called during the object declaration or during the object instantiation we know that the constructor gets called whenever the object of that class created but if we are having two different components for the object declaration then when exactly the constructor gets called so constructor gets called whenever the objects get instantiated okay so stay tuned for more upcoming video thank you